Hello my viewers and welcome to another exciting lesson in Autodesk Advanced Steel. In this lesson I just want to explain on how you can make use of the levels and also the work planes, okay? Now levels and work planes are very very important in Advanced Steel because if you make use of the work planes it will help you to you know to edit your model for example if you want to change you know the the the, the top level for your beams you want to change maybe the height for your columns you just change where the the, you know the the height for the work plane as we are going to see in this course and everything will change that also applies to the columns for example if you want to change the height for your column and if the column is already attached to that work plane okay if you just change that particular level the the the, the height for your level then all the beams and the column are just either upward or downwards depending on what you are trying to do so levels and work planes will help you to edit your model to make revisions and it's a very very important tool that you need to master in Autodesk Advanced Steel, okay? When it comes to modeling the beams and the column, make sure that you use the levels and the work planes. Now, in the previous video that you can see on the card above, okay? Make sure that you watch this one if you didn't watch. We made use of the UCS that you are seeing right here. Now, in some cases, you may not want to use, you know, the work planes, okay? But I highly recommend that you use the work planes and then for other beams or columns or other elements, which maybe you just want to add later on because, of course, you may not want to be creating work planes at each and every, you know, level. Even if you just want to add, for example, a cantilever, okay? You may not be adding work planes and levels at each and every point. So you can can make use of the UCS but for the overall structure of the building make sure that you use the levels and the uh, and the work plans okay so as you can see from here if i go to the structure here you see that we have the levels right there and if i go here under the work plans you see that we are going to have the levels appearing here once we create the level so without wasting time i just first of all actually to ask you to make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also like the videos okay and make sure that you check the links in the description i have some good courses in other softwares like revy structure revit architecture and robot structure analysis so make sure that you check the links in the description you might be interested so let me waste you know too much time let me get started in this tutorial So I'll go straight first of all into the creation of the levels, okay? As I mentioned, the levels and the work planes go hand in hand. So we need to start with, you know, the levels. What you are seeing here, these are just some of the, you know, columns that I created in the previous video when I was creating the grids, okay? So if I want, I can delete all these columns. Of course, you are not going to have the columns as you start your project, you start with the levels and also you go to the work planes, you're not going to have anything. But there's something that I want to explain, assuming that these columns were, were already there and then you create your levels and the grids, you may want to attach, you know, these columns and the beams to it to a particular level so that's why deliberately i will leave the columns as they are also show you how you can model the columns you know after you create the levels and also the work plan so to create your you know your levels just go to create level there on top just click there and you are going to have this box as you can see you see that it's named as level zero you can type the name from there if you so wish and the it's of course that the origin which is 0, 0 so i'll leave it there i'll just click on okay so as you can see it's at 0, 0 so it's the ground Okay, in this case, I'll just click on OK and you see that we have the level right there and it's active. I'll just turn off the bubble there because I don't want to cut the columns above. So if I activate it, it will just show you what is within at that particular level. So I can deactivate it because I don't I want to, to see everything that is right here. Now, you can continue creating some more levels by going to that too or you can just... Put the cursor there then right click and create level above so i'll create a level above you see automatically it will create that level which is called level one at a height of three meters if that's not the height that you want just go there and right click and go to properties and from here you can change now the height okay of course you see that we are from level zero up to that level is three meters that is the altitude that you are seeing there you can rename it if you want to give the level a different name so let me just change this one to 2500 then just click on okay you see that it's going to change from here 
Okay, let's go ahead and create another level on top and it's called level 2. By default, you can change the name and you see the base level is level 1 up to level 2 and the spacing in between is 3 meters, okay? That's why from 3 meters, okay, if we add the 2.5, that's how it's going to 5.5, okay? Is that, that, is that correct? Okay, so I'll change this one to 2.5. You see what is going to happen there then click on okay you see that it changes now to to five meters okay so i'm happy with the levels now i mentioned to say that these are already active if i want i can deactivate so if i act first of all if i right click there i can deactivate i don't want to activate any of the levels there now you see that if i go to that level and turn on the bubble you see that it's just going to show you you know what is within that level i can turn it off go to the next one see that it cut off the top part i can turn it off then click this one it will just so it also help you to you know to try to just activate what you want to see within that particular level as a way of you know helping you to, for example if your model is so complex so heavy you can even use this tool to turn things on and off so i'll just deactivate everything here and it's not just only the bubbles if i over my case are there, right click and click on activate. It will take you to that top part where you are able, for example, to start modeling the beams at that particular level. Now I'll come to this later on. Let me go there at the view cube and come back to the 3D and you see that it's activated, but I'll simply click the bubble there. So I deactivated, right click and deactivate even there as you can see. Now, I mentioned to say that these levels work hand in hand with the work plans because if I go to the work plans, you see that the levels will still appear here, but the work plans are not yet created. We need to create them here, okay? Okay, actually, the work plans are there, as you can see, but we need to define, you know, before you start modeling, you know, the beams there at a particular plane, you need to define, you know, where the plane is so that you can start creating or modeling your beams there. It will be attached to that, you know, work plans. I'll show you what this means, okay? So, uh, to, to, to set the work plane, what you need to do is to pick the, you know, the bottom and also the top, okay? That's what it means. Actually, these are the work plans. As you can see from here, these are work plans. But the bottom and the top is faring to the bottom and the top of the column, okay? So you have to fix that so that, you know, Autodesk Advanced will not say that, okay, this column, for example, the bottom is this one and the top is that one. So that when you change any of the levels from here, from here, if you change the figures there, then it will, you know, the column will either, you know, the height increase or it will shorten, okay, depending on what you are changing. So I'll go back there and I'll just give an example for all these, some of the columns here, I just want to change maybe the height for this one. Okay, so let me pick the bottom there, level zero, and pick now the top to level one, okay? All right, now from here, once you set the bottom and the top, go to the top one right click and attach elements because i remember i mentioned to say that deliberate have left the column so that i can show you how you can start adjusting if you already have your columns within the model then i'll just click that point then raise the mouse and then click that point on top there so that i select these columns then right click now you see that you tell to set select the geometry point now the geometry point are simply you know those you know points that you are seeing on top those are the geometry point but what i want to do i'll just select everything here from that point to that point and right click you see that it's going to shorten okay if you don't believe what you are seeing here i'll hold ctrl and z to undo so that hold ctrl to undo once again so that we just pick some of the columns so that you see that the others will remain okay so i'll pick the bottom one which is this one then the top one which is level one okay then go to level one right click attach elements and i just want to pick these right click then select these right click okay why is it not adjusting are these already edited okay so let me first of all maybe these are at level one already i'm not sure so what i'm going to do i'll change the top one to level two Okay, then right click from there, attach elements, then I'll just pick this, uh, right click, then select the geometry point from this point to that point, and as you can see, it's going to adjust like that. So, 
as I mentioned to you, sometimes you may already have existing members like the columns and you want to change, you know, to attach. Now, what this means is that these are already attached to that. So you see what is going to happen if I go there and change, you know, this one, for example, I'll go to, okay, what can I do here? Right click, go to properties. I want to change to level two, for example, the height, I want to change this height to... I think I can change this one to maybe let me say 4,000, which is four meters. Okay, as you can see now, it's able to adjust like that. So as I said, make sure that you use these levels and work plans. It will help you a lot. So that's how you adjust. Now, if it comes to beams, okay? For example, you want to have beams on top there. Remember in the other video, we are moving the UCS, but in this case, we want to use the, the work plan. So I'll go back to the work plans there and i'll simply go to level two right click okay and uh, no actually i can still go back there and just go to that level and i can double click or i can right click and uh, activate that one okay so once i activate that level as you can see i'm on top that's why i'm just able to see those on top okay now if I try to just pick a continuous beam, of course, I'm not able to pick those points. So I'll just turn off the bubble. I've activated the plane. As you can see, I'm on top. Just turn off the bubble there. Then you are able to pick. You know, you're able to see the grids. Okay, the plane is active, but you're able to see everything going down there. So if I go to continuous, then I'm able to pick those points. You know, just like that. I just want to... Uh, you see that I'm drawing these beams. I'm just creating them at random, you know. On that particular plane which is level two uh, right click there and simply cancel because i don't want to change anything then click the corner there you see so my beams have been created at the at that particular at that particular plane so now let's change the height for 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 this column you see that all the beams and also the columns will move accordingly so if i go there i right click and go to properties let me change this one maybe to 2000 maybe to 2500 okay from there then click on okay as you can see it's going to move down like that so as i mentioned make sure that you make use of the levels and also the work plans okay the last thing maybe that i want to show you is that if you want to create you know a particular column there i showed you on how you can create a beam how you can adjust the existing height for your for your columns let me also so show you how to uh, create your your column so i'll go to work plans there and what i'm going to do i want the columns maybe from zero the bottom is level zero and the top is level one and what I'm going to do is to let me try to create a column. We have objects there and let me go. I want to use the actual column there. There's a tool for the actual column. Let me try to, you see, if I try to create a column there, it will simply go to level one, as you can see. So I can go to the other one and click like that. It will go to up to level one. If I want to change this one, I want a column to let me just cancel this one i want to go up to the bottom is okay the top i want to go to level two then i can change it from there and which point can i pick i'll pick this point here and if i'll go to the column there then you see those two are activated there i pick there you see that it, it will help you to be very fast when it comes to modeling and at any time you can change you know the heights the levels and everything so if you like what i'm doing don't forget to like this video and share with your friends so see you in some upcoming tutorials